That breaking news just announced within the last 90 minutes. Prosecutors will seek the death penalty against the man accused of killing Metro Police Officer Perry Wren. RTV6 reporter Ebony Monet is live downtown with the very latest developments in this case. Ebony? This is only the third time since 2011 that the Marion County Prosecutor's Office has filed a request for the death penalty. Prosecutor Terry excuse me, Prosecutor Terry Curry tells us that the process is long and involves a committee that reviews the nature of the case and the aggravating circumstances of the case. In this case, 25-year-old Major Davis II is charged with murder for the shooting death of veteran IMPD officer Perry Wren. On July 5th, Officer Perry Wren and another officer responded to a call of shots fired in the alley near 34th Street on Indianapolis's northeast side. That's when authorities say there was some sort of confrontation with Officer Perry Wren and Major Davis II. And they say that Major Davis actually shot Officer Wren multiple times with an assault rifle. Just moments ago, Prosecutor Terry Curry spoke about this case, and he also spoke about the growing number of assaults against officers. And he says that seeking the death penalty in this case will likely not prevent future attacks. I have to admit that that is probably not. A, a deterrent. Uh, I don't think that uh, utilizing the death penalty uh, is a deterrent, uh, just as uh, imposing various sanctions is somehow is a deterrent to crime going forward. Um, what we have to make the decision on are the facts and circumstances, and in this case, uh, it is our conclusion that we believe the ultimate punishment is appropriate. In the last 18 months, Marion County authorities say 22 officers have been fired on and Major Davis is set to appear in front of a judge on September 3rd. Reporting live downtown, Ebony Monet, RTV6. And we have this just in, a new statement from Lynn Wren, the widow of Officer Perry Wren. She writes, I want to thank Prosecutor Terry Curry and his office for their careful consideration of all the facts before making this difficult decision. He has personally kept me informed and consulted me throughout this entire process. She goes on to say, I also want to thank my family, the community, FOP Lodge 86, Chief Height, and my IMPD family for their continued support and encouragement during this tough time.